Hey guys, in this video of Animation Basics, I'll go over the Maya settings and workspace that I use uh, before I start animating. So the first thing that you already should have done, I guess, is set a project folder for your, for your project. So you go to File, Set Project. Mine is already set to the, to the short film I'm working on, Geometry Exercise. So I got all my Maya folders right here. I can open my shots or my lighting shots, my animation shots. Next, we're going to go to the preferences. In here, there's only a few things that are really important for me to change before I start animating. Uh, the first thing is under settings, make sure you're working on 24 frames per second. Unless you have some kind of other uh, project needs, usually animation would be on 24 frames per second. That's the, the industry standard for most stuff. The next thing is under animation. Uh, I would recommend, some people don't like doing it, I would recommend using auto key. Some people prefer to change all the, um, the position of the character and then key it manually every time. Uh, I just like to have, it, to have it set up like this so when I animate everything is being keyed automatically as I work and it kind of makes everything uh, more fluid, I guess. So I would recommend using auto key. I know animators who don't use auto key. So it's, it's more of a per personal choice. Uh, tangents. I like to set it for a flattened step. That means that when you're, when, you're changing, when you're making keys, it's in step mode. So that's good for when you start animating. Um, I wouldn't recommend you know, working on spline because then uh, your blocking shots would, would be spline instead of step. So this is kind of a, a, good, a good way to start. And then later on, after you, you finish your blocking, you turn your keys into splines, but you do that manually. You don't start out like this. So keep your tangents at stepped. The next thing would be under time slider. Uh, the height of your of your key, uh, the, the time slider itself, it's set up to to one. This is how it should be when you just open my for the first time. I like to set it to two times larger. Because then you, it kind of gives you a, a better visual of your frames. And whenever you have a key, the red lines are, are kind of bigger. And I just like the visual um, input that I'm getting by, by setting it to two times larger. I guess you can go to four times bigger, but I think that's a little excessive. Two times is, is like the, the sweet spot. Next thing is make sure you keep your uh, updated view on all. If you don't, if you only have it on active, when you go through the time slider, only the active window that you're currently on will show the animation. So say I'm, I'm on this window right now, I don't see the animation in the other window. And I don't like it. I like seeing everything at once. So when you keep it on all, it doesn't matter what window you're working on, you're going to see the animation on, on all windows. And when we get to workspace settings, you'll see that we're going to have one window for the camera view and one for the perspective view and I kind of like to see them animate both at the same time because it, it just gives you a, a better view of your animation. The next setting is playback speed. Uh, you should keep it to real time that way when you play you're seeing it kind of how the you know more or less what it would be like eventually. It depends on your memory and your computer it, it might be a little slower but it, it keeps the pacing almost um, the same as as it would be after you play blast. I think the default is play every frame, which makes it you know you don't get your timing, your spacing. It's kind of I don't know. Real time is is the best for me. All right, next thing we should uh, make sure we set up is under render settings, which is this little icon right here, just to make sure we're we're on the right um, resolution. So the default will be this, but then your your viewer would would not give you the the correct frame. You you're probably going to be working in HD, either like 720 or 1080. It doesn't matter. It's the same ratio. Um, <clears throat> so make sure you set it up for HD, so you get the correct proportions for your camera camera view. Okay, now for the workspace itself, uh, the default that you're going to get when opening Maya is just four windows. Uh, top view, side view, bottom view, whatever. I think for animation, there's a very efficient workspace that you should pretty much always work in. Um, 
under layouts, select select the three panes split top. It's gonna give you one long panel over here, and the two top ones will be will be splitting the the top half. On the left one, I will put my camera view, and on the right one, my perspective view. So this is the window that I'm working on when I animate. And this window is always set on the camera. I can't move it, I can't scroll at it, I can't do anything. It just gives me the camera view, so I'll see uh, how the shot is looking at any time. Uh, some, some people like to switch, to have the camera view over here and work in here. It doesn't matter, it's, it's a personal preference. Just make sure you have these two windows on top. Uh, the bottom uh, panel would be the graph editor. Since you're animating, right, you're pretty much going to be looking at curves all the time. So you want to see that in front of your face all the time. If you're currently just blocking and you want to block the poses and you don't want to, you know, uh, deal with curves yet, you can just lower this. And, and just block away, pose your characters, do whatever you want. But most of your time, eventually, when you're fine-tuning things, will be with the graph editor. So it's good to have that window set up over here. So one, one last thing for the, for the camera view over here. Um, I like to make sure that I have my, uh, my film gate, my resolution gate, sorry. My resolution gate on. That way I can always tell where my, where's the border of my scene, of my shot. So if the ball is currently here, I know that it's not going to be rendered. So that's, I, need to, I need to know these things. It's the composition, shot layout. You need to know exactly where your shot ends. OK, so once you set up all your windows, you want to save that workspace. So to do that, you go to Panel, Save Layout, Edit Layout, and create a new layout. And you name it wherever you want. Press Enter, and now you have that layout saved. So say you change something in your layout, you just go back to save layouts and select loop animation and you have that all set up the way you want it. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, loopanimation.com.